part two of the start. This is Dolomite. It always looks to me like pink sugar icing. And in there, those inclusions are gold. It is a very beautiful stone and it's one holding it now I can feel it buzzing with joy it's a stone that is never ever negative in any way it's never heavy it's never upset about anything I, I know that sounds mad but some stones really do get agitated that's another moonstone quite a dramatic colour I really love that one love them all this is fluorite see the lovely bands of colour across it Fluorite is brilliant for toothache. There's another piece of fluorite, that's the green piece. I, I one night had horrible abscess pain and I put this against my jaw and in the morning the inflammation had gone down. And yes, I realise that a lot of people don't believe in, in crystal healing, but neither did I. In fact the only reason I ever tried it was to prove to my friend that it couldn't work and that she was a fool for believing in it in the nicest possible way. It did work. All the claims that she had been making turned out to be absolutely true so I had to contact her and say you know that crystal healing thing? I tried it, it works. And she was very very magnanimous in victory. <laughs> but anyway Flint. Another thing that my people have used for thousands of years. I call it the wise brother from the earth. This has helped us to survive in impossible situations. It's an amazing rock. I've I've done some basic flint mapping at times. It'll never be done to these because these like the way they are, but I have occasionally made a flint blade or something. Tectite, part of a meteor, meteorite. The only alien visitor we get. Rose quartz. Now rose quartz. Um, how can I say this without sounding like I'm getting at it? I do not have this stuff near me at night. Never. I had one horrible experience with it and I never want it near me again when I'm asleep. Because what it did was, I, I had weird dreams all night that brought up everything I'd ever feared, everything that ever troubled me. I just kept throwing it in my face all night and then waking me up with this horrible feeling. And I had to go through it all in my head and then I would gently drift off to sleep and then the next dream would hit. It was like being tortured. It was horrible and I realised that the rose quartz meant well. But unless you want to do deep psychoanalysis in the middle of the night courtesy of horrible nightmares don't touch the stuff at night sodalite and quartz is a much better combination for sleep than rose quartz and ordinary quartz now that I think is a bit of chiastolite but it's a bit hard to be sure I do have definite chiastolite here somewhere unless Liz may have already taken it she's using some of these for the grotto for the Didcot Street Fair. Um, she, with my permission, I hasten to add, I'm not claiming she's run off with them, she's got permission. This is Rhodochrosite, one of the most beautiful stones, very precious to me. I made the old lady, I, I, I used to work for an old lady who was a florist, and she died while I was working for her. She had a stroke and then about a year later she was dead. 
I, while she was active, I made her a brooch from rhodochrosite because it was the same colour as her favourite lily, which was the stargazer. And she was very, very pleased with it and really sweet about it. Whenever I touch this stone, I think of her and remember what a wonderful woman she was and how privileged I was to be able to work for her. I've actually been very lucky. I've worked for four people in my life, three of whom have been like family to me. The last one was another angel, a fantastic woman called Erica. She was inspiring, she was brilliant, she was amazing. I just love everything about her. She's now hopefully pursuing a brilliant writing career because she had an amazing gift with words and I kept encouraging her to write and finally she did take the plunge and really try to write and she did amazing things and I was so proud. But anyway, enough of my employers. Kyanite. Now this one, I love it. I spend ages looking at it. I don't really have a strong connection to it yet, despite having had it for years. I suspect that there's something about it that I'm not getting, but maybe it's just shy, maybe it's not ready to show who it is yet. Stones to me are living things, and I don't pressure any of them into anything. This is Labradorite. Labradorite is... It looks like a common field stone, but it's got little sparkly bits and all sorts. There, you can see on the corner there there's a little rainbow in it. It's just a lovely stone, another one full of joy. Hematite. Now these are really protective stones. I used to slip one of these into my pocket if I was expecting a bad day at work. If I was expecting to have to deal with difficult customers or colleagues who weren't very nice or anything like that, I'd just slip it in my pocket and I'd be fine. Carnelian. <sighs> the stone antidepressant. There is nothing happier than holding carnelian. This is another one. I call that my kidney carnelian. That, they, they are just wonderful stones. That's one of my agates. I get slice. Used to wear it all the time, but the chain broke. I must get another one. Ah, we got here. That's calcite. Calcium carbonate. Strawberry quartz. I love all quartz. Is they're so beautiful. I have so many bits of quartz. That I think is garnet. Yes, garnet. Amazing stone. There's a bigger bit of garnet somewhere. I was here the other day. Maybe she moved that one. Ah, that it? Yes. Yes, those two are both garnet. Lovely. Oh. Look at skin jasper. In egg form. This is silver. Under my metals. Beautiful stuff that. Kept in oil to keep it from tarnishing. Now we come to the big chunky ones. Um, this is Dumoterite. This is a lovely dream stone. If you're ever having trouble sleeping, holding a piece of this or keeping it under your pillow can have quite a dramatic effect. You can have a really deep sleep with some interesting dreams. This, and I hope it won't affect my camera, is magnetite lodestone. This is really powerful. If you put it under a compass it will drive it nuts. It is heavily magnetic. I can't actually pick things up with it but it, it does mess with cameras and recording devices and Compasses definitely. These were given to me by my sister. As you can see, I've hooked them together. This was for the, um, I think it was for the Samhain ritual. Yeah, that's the chuff. That's my little Cornish chuff. But I'm not sure what stone that is. It's probably a kind of jasper. 
But that is lapis lazuli. That's a nice one to wear around the neck. That's another one. That's, I believe, lepidolite. That's another lepidolite, slightly different colour. Another calcite. My brother collects calcite, he has hundreds of things. That is very dark soda light. Soda light is lovely, it reminds me of the sea. It always makes me think of Seascale Beach. It's blue lace agate. Got a few of them around the place, there's another one. Need a dust. That's another soda light. On a Mara stone. Lovely little ammonite. I've got a couple of ammonites about the place. That one I don't remember. I should, but I don't. More flint. More calcite. So many little bits and pieces. It's one of my one of these crystals. Somewhere I have quite a lot of quite big crystals. I gave one of the biggest away. There's some gorgeous quartz crystals. Really sweet little amethyst. I have so many amethysts of different colours. This is one of my little amethyst clusters. For some reason they gather dust even if you wash them regularly. They really collect the dust. It's graphite I think. So now I've got some galena. This is brown agate. I call it badger agate because it always <laughs> looks like badger markings. And that covers most of them. Most that I have here immediately present anyway. Oh, this box. I love this box. Another thing Liz got me. It's got a bit of unikite in there and some of those ordinary pebbles, which I don't never know. I don't know what that is, but look, that is an amazing box. That's a stone, marbly box. Lovely. There's a big bit of flint. See, that fits nicely in the hand. I actually have a holy stone. A stone with a natural hole in it that's flint. So that's upstairs at the moment. I'm just wondering what else there is to hand to show you. Those are all my dolls. If we go over here. There is a lovely piece of selenite. I got that recently from a charity shop for just two pounds. It is quite incredible. I couldn't believe my luck. Oh, this little box is stone as well. Another gift from my sister. A little box with an owl on top. I told you she gets me amazing things. 